everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Um, I decided to go ahead and do another video again. Um, like I said in previous videos, I've been having a, just a blast uh, doing these videos. Um, so anyways, I wanted to go ahead and try something today that uh, I've been wanting to do for a really long time. Um, and I feel like at this point, uh, with the practice that I've had and, and kind of developing my skills as a as a glass blower, I've been able to um, really start branching out into doing some new uh, and exciting things, uh, things that I wasn't necessarily um, ready to attempt before. So, if you read in the description of this video, um, what I'm going to attempt to do today is is to create a glass sculpture. Um, and it's going to be a microphone, or at least that's that's the idea. Um, so I've already done some prep work for this particular project, and I also um, did a microphone sculpture. Uh, it took about an hour right before I started this video, and um, started playing around with different techniques, trying to figure out what would be the best way to approach the project. Um, I decided to make it a, a solid sculpture. I was debating with myself, this is something I've been thinking about doing for a really long time. So I've been debating with myself, should it be hollow, should it be solid, um, should it have color? And uh, I decided that probably the coolest um, and most attainable uh, way to do it would be to uh, make it a clear crystal type sculpture and try to use some visual cues to indicate what I intend for people to perceive, right? Uh, and with sculptural work, um, it, you know, what we're trying to do as artists is we're trying to indicate um, what we want you to see. So there's different visual cues, and if you guys tuned in a few videos back, uh, I, did, I attempted to make a birthday cake, and in that video, I I went ahead and you know uh, we're talking about some of the visual cues. So uh, what I'm going to attempt to make, and, and I in preparation for this, I printed out a couple of pictures of microphones. So here's one picture, and um, there's definite visual cues to to make somebody perceive that this is a microphone. You've got this kind of um, round shape on the microphone and it has this crosshatch pattern. And I was really stuck on this. How was I gonna make this crosshatch pattern? Um, and I, I think I figured out a way to give somebody a visual cue that, that there's a crosshatch pattern there. Um, also, if we notice, there's a, a tapered, right? The body of the microphone is tapered. So the way I'm thinking about this as a glass blower is this kind of looks like a marble on the end of a tapered rod, right? And then we have the microphone stand and then the stand extends down and that'll be what gets mounted ultimately in the base. Um, I also went ahead and printed out a, another picture of kind of a close-up of this cross hatching that, that microphones have. And so that's something that I am going to uh, just, you know, it, it's, it's a challenge. Um, also in the description I say I'm prototyping and uh, what that means is that we very well might not come out of this video with anything really to show for it except some experience, uh, which is just fine. Um, I know that I can make a small one because I just did. Let me pull that out of the kiln and I'll show you. So that's kind of a first attempt at a microphone and um, you see I've kind of tried to give some visual cues and indicate uh, that cross hatching pattern by by pushing a, a few indentations into the into that microphone uh, piece also on the top of it I made the indication of a switch and then we also have the stand um, and if I wanted to continue on with the sculpture, I'd probably put a cord, right? That's a big visual cue that this is a microphone. So um, that's my first attempt, and that's probably, I don't know, two inches or something like that. So 
first attempt. I, I was pretty proud of it, but you know, it's a, it's just the first attempt. So there's that. The other thing is I want to keep these videos uh, probably an hour or less. I, I think that a lot of the times there's just, it, it, there's a lot to do and not everybody can watch, you know, for an hour or anything like that. Um, so we might not even get all the way done with the microphone, but you know, we'll uh, go ahead and, and, and try our best. Um, that's, that's what we're going to do. I see uh, everybody's commenting. Um, the other thing is a couple of other things. I know that the intros can be kind of long and boring. If you're watching this that's, and it's been captured, you know, you can skip my intros. It's, you know, whatever. Skip around. It's fine. Um, so this appreciation award, I've been wanting to do uh, appreciation awards for uh, people that I feel that are influential in my life um, and people I might not know uh, personally. So this appreciation award is going to um, hopefully find its way to uh, Bill Withers. And, um, you know, if you ever get to watch this, Bill, I, um, I just wanted to say... Um, how wonderful your music is, uh, what an impact uh, it's had on me in my life, and um, you know, it's just um, been a huge blessing for me uh, as, I, as I tear up. Um, so, you know, a big, big impact on me, and um, you know, there's, there's just certain, um, with music for me, there's, there's certain things that grab me. And, um, and almost all of Bill's music grabs me. Um, so, sorry I didn't think I was gonna start crying. I'm kind of a crier, guys. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the other thing is um, I decided I'm gonna do cool hats, right? So cool hats, and this one is super cool. It says, oh snap on it. And if you guys can see, it's got a bunch of gingerbread man, and that one's got a snap in him. So, um, and the added bonus, which is just too cool. I mean, you have to love, you know, the 21st century or whatever, 23rd century, whatever we're in. You know, we got the blinky lights. So the blinky lights will stay on and, um, and it'll be great. Prep work wise, I went ahead and started and made me a blank. I have wiped down all of this glass with um, Windex to make sure that there's no uh, dust or anything on it. Uh, you know, as we were saying in an early, uh, different video, dust will create impurities. Uh, it, it is an impurity and it will create bubbles and scuzz in the glass. And we don't want that. We want a nice crystal clear sculpture uh, and a sculpture for Bill. So another couple of things that I'll be using, um, since this is a sculptural work and, and a solid work, I'll be using a couple of tungsten picks. Um, I've also got the most important tool in the shop. <laughs> one of my buddies and teachers calls it the one, the most important tool in the shop, which is a butter knife. I've got another knife, a graphite bladed knife. I've got an assortment of tweezers on the bench, etc., etc. Um, yeah. So without further ado. We'll go ahead and get started. Anyways, yeah, really, uh, I really have been enjoying doing these videos, y'all, and I think that camera shot is pretty good. So let's see here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and um, you remember what we were talking about that giving visual cues and kind of the overall shape of the microphone and what what I'm gonna do is I'll make that that first piece of the microphone the head of the microphone um, and it's it's kind of you know I'm trying to think of it like a, uh, a marble on the end of a tapered cylindrical thing so that's kind of where we're at. And like I said, we'll, we will just see how this goes, y'all. Um, part of the cool thing about this to me is that, you know, throwing my phone up on the little tripod, it doesn't take much of nothing to do. And, you know, um, what's kind of cool also sometimes is, is uh, to go through process 
and um, you know, for people that are just starting out blowing glass or really anything that, that if, if you're attempting something new uh, and different, something that you've never done before, um, you know, the important part is to fail over and over again until you succeed, <laughs> I think. Uh, and that's that's kind of what what we do as glass blowers a lot of the times. You know, so process is important. Uh, nothing really comes easy, and especially it does, in life in general, I think, and especially in, in attempting to make something that's glass. Um, so anyways, you know, it's kind of one of them things. Yeah, so music and art and, and life and, um, you know, it, the last video I did was shortly before the new year and, oh man, um, you know, I got to riffing a little bit on this uh, idea of the new year and, you know, kind of, you know, what we hope to do and how I look forward to the new year and, um, you know, one of the things that I said in that video is that I want to try to do some new things. Uh, I want to create new things. And one of the nicest parts of my job and what I do is that I feel like if I'm doing it right, I am constantly creating uh, new and different things. I'm, I'm, I'm constantly having to innovate and, um, and challenge myself, you know, and, and, and that's, I think, one of the joys um, and one of the trials <laughs> Uh, of being a glass blower, so, um, but it is a lot of fun, y'all. So, anyways, I'm kind of gonna let this stabilize a little bit. I've got a you know, the start of a microphone shape. I might want to get a little bit more glass in that in that bulb. But now, uh, like I said, I'll be tapering this down. And our visual cue is it's kind of it's uh, it's like three quarters of a sphere, so there's actually kind of a recurve on this particular picture of a microphone. So uh, that's a little bit challenging, but the way I was able to achieve that kind of look in the other is I was, I was able to start tapering close to that, that quote unquote marble on the end, right? That gather on the end. And um, it, it kind of created that recurve effect for me. Um, so again, this is all new to me, um, and you know, like I said, we might not even come out of here with anything really to show for our for our troubles, except a little bit of experience, which is fine, you know. So, anyways, let me stop talking and start working here. Oof. Got some schmooze to clean up here. Also, learning a lot about doing uh, doing solid work. You know, it's it's a lot lot different, and I and I don't have as much experience uh, working solid as I as I do um, making hollow things. So, uh, you know, this is just a it's all it's all learning. It is all learning, my friends. <laughs> One of the things I was thinking when I was doing that other. Uh, the little prototype I was thinking, you know, Carson, there's a real good chance that this thing could look like a penis. <laughs> so, let's like, you know, try to make sure that it doesn't turn out to looking like that, you know. I mean, some people want those, and uh, that's great. But, um, you know, for the Cap Class Appreciation Award, I think we should uh, try to stick to making it look like a microphone. Maybe I should go around the world with this. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just making little indentations, trying to kind of make the um, make the appearance of that crosshatch pattern in this thing. I'm trying to do it cleanly, but it's a 
little bit awkward here, so we shall just see how it goes. Ah, you know what? I remember what I was doing before. I think I was having better luck. Yeah, having better luck if I change sides here. are the ticket. There again, we're uh, prototyping pretty much, so we're just kind of playing around, trying to see what works and what doesn't. I think maybe a bunch of little bitty indents. It's going to take a while. Woo! So, yeah, so, um, and, you know, I also put in a topic for discussion, kind of a food for thought thing in the description there. And um, since I'm making an appreciation award, you know, I was thinking about, well, gifting and appreciation awards, that's basically the same thing. And, uh, you know, when, I, when I'm gifting, you know, we just had Christmas. And, uh, you know, in Christmas time, typically, people give gifts. And when I gift something to somebody, what I think I'm really giving them is an appreciation award. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm telling them through my gifting action that, you know, I really appreciate you. And here is an award for that. Um, and I think that's a really interesting kind of a a way to characterize what uh, what we're doing when we're gifting is you know I'm giving somebody an appreciation award so it's kind of fun kind of a fun thought yeah uh, smaller indentations seem like the right way to go trying to just get the surface of this glass hot. One of the things that's kind of challenging about this actually is um, not melting in the indentation next to the one I'm doing. Um, so I don't know if you guys noticed I turned my flame way down uh, and the reason that I did that is so I could uh, make sure and try not to heat up too much of this glass at once. Boop, boop, boop. Dot, dot, dot. I was talking about one of my friends in the last video I did and how he sits there and makes these beautiful, very intricate uh, pendants and marbles and cabochons and different things with, you know, 1,500 dots or 1,700 dots. <laughs> and just how, uh, how that's, you know, that's a tough one, man. I, uh, I, I don't know, I kind of enjoy making dots. But uh, 1,500, it's like, ooh, boy, that's a bunch of dots. That's way more than uh, the dots I usually have to put into something. But, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing. It, it really is kind of amazing. Yeah, that's definitely the way to go. We're doing these smaller, so it's all learning, guys. It's all experimental learning stuff that we're doing here. Um, you know, I've never attempted to make a really big one. I made a small one just a little while ago and it turned out pretty good. So I figure, you know what, I'm, I'm kind of ready for this. Uh, I'm ready to start doing some sculpture stuff. I made a uh, sculpture for uh, my stepmom for her birthday and I posted a picture on my Instagram and it was amazing the response. People were like, sculpture, holy moly. And I'm like, yeah, it's a sculpture. Okay. I never thought that, uh, you know, I, Folks would be kind of impressed or, you know, I, I really appreciated the, the great feedback I got on it. It just was a, a little bit of a surprise to me that 
it got a lot of good reception. I guess it shouldn't be too surprising. Um, there's a gentleman uh, who is uh, credited for being one of the people that really brought uh, boral silicate lamp working into the artistic world, and his name is uh, Godo Frabel. And, uh, you know, talk about an appreciation. Um, I've been acquainted with Godo for a number of years through some mutual friends, and uh, he's actually based here in Atlanta. He's a, you know, pretty nice guy. I don't know him really well personally, but um, he's always been very nice to me in our interactions. Um, and uh, Godo is really well known for his for his crystal sculptures, and it's in boral silicate. They're all, they're all boral silicate. Uh, sculpture so a uh, pretty interesting guy and a uh, super talented glass blower um, really he has some very amazing work um, and he's made his career or a major part of his career has been in uh, making glass sculpture and I think that's really neat you know he proved it he proved the theory that you know that can be done you know that um, I can sit here and play with glass and make sculptures and uh, potentially make a make a good living at it and um, you know get to meet interesting people and do some pretty interesting things. So I really have appreciated his example um, in the time that I've known of him and um, been acquainted with him. You know, so. And he's got he's got a great studio. It's it's kind of a really uh, very professional setup that they have. I uh, have some friends that have worked up there. And, uh, pretty cool stuff. So okay. So. That's where we're at. It looks kind of like a disco ball with those those hat lights behind it. Uh, so okay, so we've got our definitely got our start of our microphone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to punny up to the end of this thing. There again, I'm just using uh, another piece of uh, 12 mil by uh, or 12 and a half by something by two and a half, I think, uh, tubing, and I've just made it into a punny. Make sure this punny is pretty good and strong. As a matter of fact, I think I might just make it a pretty solid weld here. Uh, and the reason for that is that I'm going to be more or less holding this sculpture from this handle uh, for uh, the majority of the rest of the process, I think. It's really important if you're uh, attempting something new, I think, to really trying to think about it, analyze, okay, um, step by step, how am I going to pull this off, you know, and um, that's, that's something that I've found is really helpful for me anyways, is trying to, you know, go in there and kind of have an analytical mind, um, I really want to try to warm this, this blank up pretty well before I really stick it in the flame.
There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. You know, I also was thinking about, you know, just how many opportunities um, have passed up uh, for me to to maybe do this, you know, with people that have since passed on and uh, different uh, celebrities or musicians or artists that I, I just have appreciation for and um, you know there's just a lot of names on that list and I thought man I really don't I can't I can't wait on this this is just something that I need to start doing um, so all right you can kind of see where we're at I'm starting to kind of shape this thing a little bit and I'm going to taper it down just a touch. As I'm tapering, I'm just pulling very, very softly, very, very softly, and trying not to over taper one section or the other, and just really trying to take my time with this. Get a nice, even heat in there. Awards. One of the things I, uh, I don't know if you guys ever had a teacher in school that, you know, encouraged you to send a piece of fan mail to your your favorite author or musician or anything. I, I had one, um, I think it was third or fourth grade maybe, um, maybe even second grade. No, I think it was probably third or fourth. And, um, my favorite author as a child uh, was Raul Dow, and if you guys are familiar with Raul Dow, uh, he did you know, Charlie and the Cho Chocolate Factory and James and the Giant Peach and all of those kind of, they're very classic children's books, children's novels, and he was my absolute favorite. And um, so my teacher said, well, send, you know, send him a, uh, you know, a thank you note and tell him how much you appreciate his, his writing and you know I did and I actually got a response back and I think it was from a family member um, or it might have been from his uh, you know PR person and they said thank you so very much for um, taking the time to write us we really appreciate it unfortunately you know Mr. Raul Dow has passed <laughs> and it was kind of a, a shock to the system as a third grader I was like oh man <laughs> I thought he was, you know, it was like, oh man, it was, it was a tough, it was a kind of a tough cookie, tough pill to swallow, I guess. Um, but you know, you live and you learn. You know, one of the things that I, I kind of mentioned in the other videos, I wish we all had, you know, a couple of hundred years to share with each other here on Earth, and it's just not like that. You know, we just don't. Um, and, and, and at that point, we just have to, um, you know, practice practice some acceptance and you know do our best with the time that we have and the time that we're given. Um, that's that's really an important thing, I think. Oh yeah. So 
We are coming right along, guys. Whew. I'll tell you, this sucker is kind of heavy. I'm really glad I had these rollers. Um, that's that has been a really nice gift. My dad got me some rollers for Christmas. Uh, they, not this last, not this Christmas that we just had, but I think Christmas before that. The other thing that's pretty important with um, making sculpture is, is scale and trying to get things to scale. So, you know, trying to scale up or scale down. Okay, so that's kind of where we are. Um, and I'm going to need to work on the back end of this thing. I'm, I'm going to need to put a switch on it. I think what I'm going to do first is I'll put a switch off and on switch on this. And we are, uh, we're after just making indications. We're, we're uh, trying to create visual cues. Um, so the switch doesn't have to have every single last little knob or anything like that. It just has to have enough switchiness to make you think it's a switch. Which went on a little bit cattywampus. I'm gonna have to. That's it. The thing I got the most important tool in the shop with me. Kind of tighten that up. One thing I really need to get with working with this clear glass is some lighter goggles. That would really help. Well, these goggles that I'm wearing right now are kind of intended for um, working pretty heavy color. Uh, really dense colors they're great for. But with clear sometimes you can't see as much as you need to. really great is to have an actual microphone here that I would be able to kind of model off of. Okay, there's our microphone body with the switch. And uh, <laughs> it does look pretty phallic at this point. <laughs> oh, we'll have to make it more microphone before it's all said and done. <laughs> Anyways, 
Oh boy. Okay. Um, let me refer to my picture again. I think the next step is going to be cleaning off this end here and trying to again trying to just clean this shape up a little bit, making it into looking more like a microphone. I also think that this uh, the taper between the bulbous end and going into the taper of the, the actual microphone body itself, uh, I think that also needs to be cleaned up a little bit. I, I'm probably going to wait until I finish this and uh, or turn off the video and let this thing soak in the kiln for a few minutes before I start going, going up to that part and messing around. Let's just see what we can do with this end here. So I think stepping the end down a little bit, step, step, you know, uh, kind of creating some indications of like, okay, that's that's where the harness plugs in, and uh, I think that'll also probably um, help to start to indicate this this as being a microphone. Yeah, so I've been thinking about Bill, and uh, there's a really great documentary about Bill Withers, uh, and the title of that documentary is Still Bill, and there's some really interesting interviews in there uh, with both him and his daughter, and um, just a really neat and fascinating person, I think. He's, um, I think, accomplished so much and uh, touched a lot of lives, uh, and that's huge, you know, and I think that deserves an appreciation award. And, you know, um, one of the things that I kind of wanted to to ask the to ask the internet to help me with is, you know, that six degrees of separation thing is is a real thing. So if you guys could share this video, if you're watching this, and um, you know, we might be able to to figure out how to get this thing to Bill. Um, I know that uh, Bill's last album was recorded, I think, in 1985, and he's a pretty private man. Um, he made a decision to not uh, be in the limelight and be in the spotlight uh, and to really focus on being a family man. And I think that's very honorable in a lot of ways, you know, that that's a, you know, I wonder if, if I was... You know, if I had celebrity, quote unquote, um, you know, would I make that same decision for myself? So what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm kind of making an indentation here at the end. And, Stepping it down, so to speak. So I've got that started to kind of step down. I think I'm gonna make this a little bit, uh, make this into kind of the next step and then make one more step. And that's where, that's where the, uh, that's where the, the cord will ultimately attach. So, yeah, 
Yeah. Good old Bill. I'll tell you what, I, I have a Pandora station dedicated. It says Bill Withers Radio on it. <laughs> and uh, it's just uh, it's wonderful music. I, I found it's really been just such such a great thing. One of the things that I wish I could do more in this video is, um, in the videos is, you know, there almost never do you go into a glass blowing studio and not hear music going. Uh, they really go hand in hand and it's like almost an absolute necessity sometimes for the creative process in, in my particular field of, you know, doing glass. Uh, pretty vital, you know. Uh, they, they really go well together, hand in hand, because what I do is, is I dance with glass. Um, that's why I think it's a, it's a dance, you know, and, uh, and having to dance with glass, you kind of need music sometimes to do that. Um, so, that's, I almost, unless I'm doing one of these videos, I always have music going, pretty much. Uh, that's just part of it. You know, so and I sit here and I think about. I wonder if these. I wonder if these artists know that they're helping me out so much today. Do you know helping me do my thing? And uh, you know, and then I got to thinking. Well, maybe I should let them know. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do right now. It's an appreciation award. Okay, so that's where we're at with the crystal microphone, guys, with the bling, bling, bling hat lights behind it. I think next steps are going to be, uh, I'm going to throw this in the kiln, then I'm going to go ahead and um, create a stand for it. So there will be that oval shaped piece and a uh, a piece going into a base. I think that's enough uh, live video for me today guys so thank you so much for watching stay tuned for future videos stay fabulous and uh, I'll be posting some pictures of this one it's finished anyways thanks a lot guys see you later